My perspective on race in America is one that we can't deny that it's definitely improved. Uh, you see a higher rate of African Americans graduating from university and white Americans dropping out of high school. You know, where I'm from in Prince George's County, Maryland, it's one of the wealthiest places, African American communities in America. I grew up around prosperity amongst black people. You can't deny that those things exist, but you can't also deny that uh, with that progress creates new obstacles. And those new obstacles that I'm more concerned about are minority competition, less about being oppressed by the majority and more about minorities having conflict within themselves, fighting over resources, um, the stereotypes, the preconceived notions, the fact that as me, I'm half Sudanese and half American. So I speak Arabic and I speak English. And I walk into a bodega in New York City in my own neighborhood that's ran by someone from Yemen. And before I speak Arabic and he knows my name, I'm a black man and I get treated a certain way, which is pretty hostile oftentimes. I would say that I experience more prejudice from other minorities than I do from white people or from a majority anywhere where I go. And that's something that I'm more intrigued by and I feel that needs to be addressed a lot more. Uh, nationality versus ethnicity. The amount of people who say, I'm not black, I'm, we're all black. Whether you're a Puerto Rican or a Dominican, let's not get caught up into semantics. My own people, Sudanese people, some of them don't even consider themselves black. They consider themselves Arab and different from someone from Nigeria. Those things need to be addressed. That's the things that I care about more, that I'm affected by more in my day-to-day -day life than the, the ideas and impression of a white person. My first cassette tape that I personally bought was Run DMC's Raising Hell. And I had to hide it because it said the word hell. That's how young I was. My team is structured in a way where I, I trust them to do what they do because they're skilled at it. And it allows me to just make the music at the end of the day. You know, I'll probably be doing visual arts or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, probably directing and, you know what I'm saying, movies and stuff like that. This just had a bunch of bomb-ass cheese, man. Sorry about that, Wolf, but yo, I knew you, you weren't going to eat it anyways.